Hey guys, and welcome to Montenegro. I'm currently staying in Budva, which is one of the biggest touristic cities in this country. And I want to show you a typical apartment and how much you need to pay for this quality of an apartment. We are staying around um, 25 minutes walking from the city center. So this is the outskirts of the city, as you can see. One of the things that I like about this neighborhood is this is where the local stay. The buildings are really new and you have really good access to different shops and supermarkets, like the bigger one, not the convenience stores. Right now, let's just go and see the place. This is a studio apartment with one bedroom. I'll just walk you through this area. So I think we need to start with the small corridor. It seems tiny, but it's very, very functional and I love this part. So here is all my makeup, the mirror, and then we have this cabinet for all kind of um, bags and stuff we need to take, or maybe like medical mask we need to take before going out. Usually I would stay here and put on my shoes. So it's really small, but it's really functional. And this is one of the main things that I love about the apartment. This is the bathroom and this is the bedroom. But before we go there, I actually wanted to show you the kitchen. It has, I would say like 95% of the things that we need. So. No surprise here. We have a fridge, a refrigerator, then a place for storing all sorts of pots and pans. To be honest, we're not cooking a lot, so I'm not using them. And when I do need them, I have to ask for Eugene because this is pretty tall for me. Uh, here's the space for all the glasses and cups. You can see that there are plenty of them. Uh, when we have some, you know, small things to wash, we wash them in the sink, but we also have a dishwasher. So in this sense, I feel like Montenegro is um, a middle ground between the Balkans and Italy, because I've seen a lot of Italian things that Montenegrins really like, which makes sense because Italy is just over the sea and they try to implement in their own country. Well, I love dishwashers. You know, a cooking surface, microwave really important because sometimes you don't want to dirty your dishes you just want to heat up something really quick uh, then we have you know cabinets for all kind of snacks so overall it's very functional and we have breakfast right here so I would sit here Eugene would sit there and we still have two seats for friends that never come because we don't have friends here anyways in case you're interested where we put our luggages one is here, it's a huge one, there's no you know, place to fit it, and the other one is here. And this is the living room area. So Eugene works here, and I work in the bedroom that I'm about to show you, and this is really comfortable. So like we spend a lot of time here, we have a nice table. Oh, and one more important thing is obviously the AC. I've just turn it off, but during the summer, it's impossible to stay alive in uh, Budva uh, without an AC, like you have to have it. Look how this window opens. Well, arguably amazing, because I feel like not many of you are fans of um, a parking lot with buses, but on the other hand, you also have the mountain. So yeah, this is really good. And from here you can see our tiny balcony, but we are going to go there at the end of the tour through the bedroom. We have the shutters. We put them when it gets really hot during the day uh, with you know the bright sun or sometimes in the evening. Let's go to the bathroom. You'll have to bear with me because um, uh, there is uh, the ventilation together with the light, so it will be pretty noisy. Stick in here. Okay, so this is the bathroom. No, no big surprises here. We have a boiler for hot water and it's broken. And this is like the bane of our existence because we have to put this bucket here for when the water boiler leaks. But other than that, I think it's a pretty normal bathroom. Shower, washing machine, toilet. We don't have a clothes dryer, which again is very normal for Montenegro. They usually hang out their clothes to sun dry. So this is something that we are uh, doing here. We do have this cabinet where we store stuff, but it's usually, you know, things that we don't really need, like 
let's say I wash my hair with something and I put it here and forget about it. But the regular things are here and it's not, not enough space for them. Okay, last room, the bedroom. Da -da -da. Everything is super simple. I love it. It's very comfortable. It has this um, soft bed rest. Um, it's pretty tall, which I like about beds. And each of us has their own nightstand, which I would say is a pretty big rarity for Airbnb apartments. You would think <laughs> people can't me mess this up, but they do mess this up. And we also have two power sockets, one for the lamp and the other one for charging your devices. Very big wardrobe. This is something that I really like about this apartment. So in this section, we put our clothes. Um, and then here is for, you know, socks and intimates. And I have my drawers and Eugene has his. So we have a lot of space here. And the other section is more for, you know, stuff that we need around the house. We have a couple of bags that we use occasionally, then extra pillows, blankets, uh, towels. We need to go to the terrace. You go first. <sighs> it's really beautiful here. When it's not super noisy with the cars which happens, but I have to say that we are really sitting here once in a while with Eugene and having coffee. This is not something that is happening in my imagination or that I say only for the sake of the video, but something that we are actually doing where we put our clothes and we can have breakfast or coffee here because our clothes are drying. Now to the most pressing question, which is the price. We are paying 1,200 euros per month for the apartment. Everything included, all the amenities included, and also cleaning once per week. I still think the price is a bit too steep, although the apartment has everything that we want and all the services included. But bear in mind that Montenegro, and Budva specifically, is a very touristic location, and in the summer the prices increase. So we had the bad luck of coming here actually during the season. So although this apartment is pretty far from the beach, considering that it's new and considering that, you know, it's really well equipped, um, this is this is the price that we have to pay. Do I think it's fair? I don't really think so. But let me know in the comments what you think. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.